This is a video on how to fill a Desiderata flex pen to fill and test. So I have this pre-assembled nib unit. All Desiderata pens have interchangeable nib units like this. So before we get, before we begin, I want to make a point to express how important it is that you prepare the nib to accept ink. Uh, because remember, the nib has to carry the ink to the page. That's the last step. And that flow of ink through the nib to the page is accomplished solely by capillary action, the attraction of the ink to the paper. And all kinds of things can get in the way of that interaction. The thing that you want to do is make sure that there's as little to stand in its path as possible, especially with a flex pen. You don't want it, otherwise your performance will, will deteriorate. I just like to lick, lick the tip or maybe wet some saliva, uh, wet a paper towel or something, just to keep it, just to keep it clean and give it an opportunity to really slide off of the nib and onto your paper. This will become more important later. So, one thing that you will need if you're interested in filling one of these is bottled ink. Now, I'm going to use one of, one of my favorite inks here, Noodler's Golden Brown, because it's got some nice shading potential. If you have a bottle of ink and it's reasonably full, you can do it this way. Otherwise, if you have a sample container, <clears throat> like a sample vial of ink, uh, or if you're just on, you're just running very low on your ink, it wouldn't hurt to transfer it to a small sample vial that's got a small volume and a very, very, very narrow neck, so that you can plunge the nib in, the, plunge the, plunge the apparatus into the bottle, and have it work that way. You could do that either one. This bottle, however, for the purposes of a demonstration, is pretty full. So here we go. We just take the um, <clears throat> take the apparatus, put it into the ink bottle, squeeze the air bubbles out, hold it in, Let's draw the apparatus. I'm gonna wipe this off with a paper towel, and that's it. Now, this is how full it gets on that first try. Now, I'll tell you that this is pretty full for, for my purposes. Number one, this is a pretty short sack. I had this cut from earlier. Uh, most pens can probably hold a sack that's a little bit longer than this. <clears throat> but also, you notice that it has the volume of the sack that is filled with ink, as well as the volume of the section, including the amount of the ink channel on the, on the feed there's more ink in here than what you can see. So if we wanted a really full, really full section, what you do, I'm just going to tap this, tap it smartly. Now that's the volume of ink that was in the section and, you know, in addition to the ink that was in the sack. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything, I'm just going to keep tapping it anyway. Okay. That's about what we've got. Now you'll take something else that you'll need, sacrificial paper towel, and I'm going to just squeeze a little bit of it out. I'm going to get a bubble first, and then I'm going to just empty this out. There's going to be a little bit of an air bubble. Okay. Besides that, now I'm squeezing out air. I'm just going to squeeze it out until I see a little bit of ink begin to pool in behind the uh, behind the vent hole of the nib. And the Zebra G has a very, very good sized air hole. Okay. I'm take it again. Go back into the ink bottle. Let it fill up. Pull it out. I'll set that there. Put the cap back on the ink bottle right away. And how are we doing? Now, that's full. If that looked easy at all, it's only because I've done this about 200 times, but this, this kind of thing takes practice. So, that's how you fill it. Now, let's see if we can tune it. Take your Desiderata flex pen. Now, we get to try it out. 
it usually takes <coughs> usually takes a little bit of uh, usually a little bit of priming to get the uh, to get the ink flow going. It's here that I'd, I'd lick or wipe off the tip of the nib again, just in case you touched it and didn't realize it. Never hurts. Okay, let's uh, let's give it a try. I don't know if you can see this. Let me zoom in. Poor planning. 